so we'll see. Oh, we'll get more. Robbie Jerry was talking about how great a shape you're in. Uh, your jean shorts look a little less tight than usual. What's going on here? Uh, yeah, I got after this off season, worked really hard, and came in in really good shape. I feel like uh, jean shorts are still tight, but <laughs> not quite as tight though. Maybe either. not. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, um, I feel like I just got myself in better shape. Was it just any particular reason? Was it motivation or was it just because it's more normal offseason? You didn't have to worry about where you were going. There wasn't kind of maybe some of the restrictions that were still out there. Yeah, I think for me it was having a normal offseason. I think that, you know, with the last year, the the lockout and the, the quick turnarounds, the fast spring training, it kind of uh, sneaks up on you a little bit. But this year with the, the normal year, I was able to have my normal routine uh, go through my normal progression of the offseason. Uh, feel pretty good about where I'm at. Robbie, what do you, if you sat down at the end of the season when you got home and could sort of think back about your first year with the Mariners, um, how do you sort of reconcile everything that happened and how did you feel about it? Yeah, I feel like for me, uh, you know, looking back, it was uh, it was a year where I feel like I, I did a really good job at making changes and, and adapting to what was going on during the year. I feel like, um, you know, obviously adding the two seam uh, was a big thing for me there f for a little bit, and uh, you know, it seemed like every at the beginning of the year, um, it was like that one inning that was always getting me, uh, and I feel like I made a pretty good job at buckling down and, and figuring that out and getting those situations. I, I feel like it, I knew it was going to turn around. It was just frustrating in the moment, uh, but. I feel like I've made a good, I did a good job of turning that around and kind of limiting those big innings. Um, and then obviously, you know, having the, the playoffs go the way it did is not ideal, but um, I'm excited for this year and do it all over again. Robbie, you seem to get really comfortable with your teammates despite, you know, the late start to spring last year. Coming in here, how refreshing is it to just have that kind of normalcy and the camaraderie within the clubhouse with, you know, your guys? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's huge. I mean, in a clubhouse where I know everybody, um, not having to get to know guys on the fly, um, it's exciting. You know, the, the team that we have here is a great team, a great group of guys. I mean. And great ball players. I think, you know, first and foremost, uh, they're all great people. And so I think uh, that I think that definitely matters. Um, and we like to have fun. And uh, I think it definitely shows. The way the season ended last year, everybody, you know, obviously coming in against Alvarez, did you rewatch it or did you think about it? How do you flush it right away? Are you like, you know, some football players can flush something or do you, did you dwell on it at all? Do you think about all the, how the season ended for you? Uh, not really. I, th I think I, you know, have a good group of guys around me that help me process it. Because uh, like, I was in a situation that I'd never been in before, you know, walking off the mound and the game's over. <laughs> um, so for me, you know, I had I, I leaned on those guys to to help me process that, uh, and once that was done processing, and I was done with it. I mean, I, it, guys hit walk off homers all year. I mean, it, it happens. Uh, it just gets magnified because it was playoffs, and uh, yeah, I think for me it was. I once I had processed it a couple of days, got over it, didn't think about it again. Jerry kind of mentioned like. Throughout your career, you've dealt with ups and downs. I mean, like, probably that isn't the most difficult thing you probably dealt with in your career at this point. No, there's been times where I thought I was out of baseball. So uh, that's definitely not the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with. How do you think going through some of those ups and downs helped you get through, you know, that moment in particular? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's just helped me, you know, learn how to stay even keel and not get too high and I get too low, just kind of stay right there in the middle and um, just help me learn how to process things a lot quicker and and kind of flush them and get over it. Robbie, um, Scott said you're working on a new pitch. He told us to ask you what it is. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to give too many things away, but I'll say I am working on a new pitch. What kind of went into the, uh, I guess, calculus and, and 
trying that. I mean, we obviously saw the two-seamer, but, um, you know, I guess this is the time of year where you can kind of toy with things like that. Yeah, I mean, if you're not trying to get better, then this game is just going to leave you behind. So I think for me, it's uh, there's nothing wrong with spring training or off-season trying to add a new pitch and see if you can do it. We talked to Scott a little bit, but he talked about some – you stepped up and talked to the team late in the season about what it meant. When did you feel comfortable stepping forward? Because it is a new team, and there are guys that are established there, and you stepped forward and said stuff when, when kind of the postseason was looming. Yeah, I think uh, for me, you know, the guys in the clubhouse made it, me feel comfortable right away. Um, I feel like I kind of voiced my opinion on things pretty quickly, but I th I felt like you know, that last week of the season, things were starting to kind of slip. And, you know, we, it, it almost seemed like we were watching other people and hoping that they would lose instead of going out and taking care of business the way that I felt like we needed to. And so, you know, I just got up and kind of voiced my opinion on that. And guys were responded, they responded to it. And uh, it was a pretty cool moment. Had you ever done that before? No. Was it, how did you say it's like, what did you think about it when it or just was it all emotion? Uh, you know, I had been thinking about it for a couple of days because I, you know, I'd been sitting there watching and I'm just like, something needs to be said and it needs to be said by a player. And I don't know if anybody else is going to say it. So I think I'll say it. Do you also feel like you have that kind of comfort knowing that like, this is your team, you have a long-term deal and unlike other stops in the past and that you had, does it feel like you've really kind of secured yourself as, as a person here and that gives you more confidence to speak like that? I think so. I think I'm at the point in my career as well where, you know, I've, I've had, I've been around long enough to where, uh, you know, I've kind of gained that respect, if you will. Mm -hmm. Robbie, you've been around lots of rotations with some talented young pitchers, but those two kids that, that you had to pitch with last year, how impressed were you with what they did, all things considered, and where they're going as pitchers? Yeah, um, I'm assuming you're talking about Jordan. Jordan, Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, both of those guys are, are great. Um, they're both super talented. They're both, you know, George, should, I mean, the, the guy can just pick up a baseball, turn it, and, and throw it and it'll do whatever he wants it to do. So, I mean, he's, he's super talented, but he's got a good head on his shoulders and he knows he works hard. And, um, you know, Logan, obviously the year that he had last year, it was, it was special and it was fun to watch him and kind of coming into his own and uh, learning who he is as a person, and as, a, as, a, as a pitcher, it was, it was really fun to watch both of those guys uh, and the growth that they had. You've been on good teams before last year, and you've also been on some teams that have struggled. What's it like coming into a spring training where there are expectations? Yeah, I think you just can't make too much, you can't put too much pressure, too much thought on those expectations. There is outside noise. There's, you know, everybody's talking about, well, they broke the drought last year, so what are they going to do this year? How are they going to get better? Are they gonna, how can they go further? And I think for me, it's just if we go out and play our brand of baseball and uh, you know, we got some new guys in that clubhouse, add some thump to our lineup. I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, I don't know, I think it's going to be, uh, I, think, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. You kind of mentioned it last year when we talked to you, but when you guys were down, you're 10 games below 500, that you guys admitted that the outside noise was kind of putting the pressure on you. And then do you think that helped that you just focused in on just winning that day? I mean, as cliche as it sounds, yeah. that's what you kind of did to get going. Yeah, I think I think that's all you can really do is, is you can't start a 10-game win streak on day one. So I think for me it was you, you just have to win today and you have to win every pitch on both sides of the ball. And, and that was kind of my message to the guys was just like, let's just win every pitch. Let's, let's win every pitch that we can pitching. Let's win every pitch that we can on while we're hitting. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, that outside noise, it can get to you a little bit. And it's as a younger guy, it's a little more difficult. But having veteran guys around you kind of helps you when you can see those guys not panicking and not going through those moments and, and pressing. 
I think it, it helps out a lot. You mentioned George just picking up a ball, like the two-seamer. He started just, oh, I'm just going to try it, and then he throws it. But by the end, he could front hip it, uh, like right. 96. I mean, that just doesn't happen, does it, it doesn't. for people? Like, how, you know, people don't realize how difficult that is or how much of an anomaly it is that somebody can do that. Isn't yeah, it? it's a gift for sure. And, uh, I mean, he can kind of just do that with any pitch. I mean, can, you can just say, George, throw this, and he'll grab a baseball and figure out a grip and throw it. So uh, he's pretty, he's a talented kid. Hey, Robbie, uh, when Luis came over in that trade, um, it certainly gave you guys another uh, big weapon. As you watched him, and I don't know how much you saw of him, if you saw him when you were in Arizona and he was with Cincinnati, I don't know if any of that overlapped, but what really impressed you about the way that he went after guys and attacked hitters? Yeah, he, he, he does exactly that. He gets ahead of guys and then, you know, he do, he's not really a nitpicker. He doesn't, he's just straight at you. And, you know, he's got the change up that's really good and the slider as well. And um, he does a really good job of moving around the zone and uh, keeping hitters off, off balance. You know, he doesn't, he's not always, you know, chasing the strikeout. He's, he's getting out of innings early. He's getting um, quick outs getting deep in the games and he's calm cool collective and uh he's a, a really fun guy to be around so is george gonna try your secret pitch and do it good <laughs> you probably will okay. Some, somebody will it doesn't seem fair about it. It, it sometimes is not but <laughs> you gotta you just gotta deal with it thank you thanks man thanks appreciate it